Hi everybody, welcome to TFB TV. I am Corey Wardrop. We are out at the Industry Range Day at SHOT Show 2018. I'm here with Monty Scott of Pepperball, the director of training among other things. And uh, we've got some neat stuff we're looking at here. I have enjoyed your products for a long time. Many of our viewers maybe haven't. Can you tell us what it is that you do? Sure, Corey. The Pepperball system's been in existence for almost two decades now. And I have been fortunate enough to serve with the company for that entire time. So I've seen it from its very beginning to where it is now, where we're able to reach out and impact people at a long distance. Overall, the Pepperball system is a non-lethal option used by over 8,000 agencies worldwide. It combines kinetic impact with the release of a pepper powder that goes airborne, similar to like what OC would be, but in a powderized form. So a, a powdered version of an OC or, or commonly known as a pepper spray. Correct, so that gives you a lot of advantages because I can use it, even if I can't see a person, I can still make this product work for me. Awesome, and you were showing me something a few minutes ago that I, <laughs> I think this is so cool. You're using rifled barrels, and your, can you tell me the difference between these things? You bet. So this is our original Pepperball round projectile. So since it's a round projectile, it has a low ballistic coefficient, obviously. So it limited the distance we could get out. Now, not unlike a Revolutionary War flint <laughs> yeah, lock. Yeah, with a round ball. With a round ball. Exactly. Through a smooth bore. Exactly. Now, through our manufacturing process, we improved these over the years, and these are still very accurate out to you know 20 meters, 20 yards for direct impact on a person. But the feedback we got is that people wanted to be able to reach out farther. So that's when we developed this projectile, the VXR, the Variable Extended Range Projectile. It's a spin stabilized projectile, so it travels more efficiently and gives us greater range, almost two and a half times the range of our original round pepperball projectile. Awesome. Uh, so something we were talking about a minute ago, pepperball is very popular for like riot control situations and that kind of thing, diverting traffic from crowds that, you know, you want them to go the direction that you want them to go. So we're out here on the range, obviously, that's the point of being out here. Can right. you show us some of the stuff that you have on the table and, and, and why this is? Sure. Yeah, so the, our original pepperball launchers that looked more like this, that fired just the round projectiles. Mm -hmm. We're still in for full production with those. Still a very popular model for uh, crowd control type situations, correctional environments where they may need to be up very close to the people that they may need to use this on. And it's still a safe product, even at point blank range. And this traditionally very much like a paintball gun, has a big hopper over right. the top. And right, and this, this just doesn't have the hopper on it, but this is where the hopper would sit on this particular model, Got absolutely. It. So what are you doing now? So our new launchers, as you can see, have a little bit different look. So you can see the different colors because different agencies want different colors to designate it as a less lethal or non-lethal product. Sure. So this is the VKS, and this is what fires the VXR projectile. As you can see, operationally, the controls are very similar to an AR-15 platform. Sure. Safety, magazine release, sure. even the charging handle works the air to put it in an operational state. Got it. So, so manual of arms. If I'm used to one, very low uh, learning curve to get to the other. Just it's three movements to put this into operation. Awesome. Uh, how does it shoot? So, to make this operational, safety magazine release again. All I need to do is insert my magazine. What's your capacity on the magazine? The magazine I just inserted is a 10-round magazine. We have a 15-round magazine, and at Shot Show we're unveiling our 100-round drum magazine. So the magazine's inserted. To place it in the firing position, I simply slide the charging handle to the forward position. This system is now loaded and ready to be fired once I take it off safe. So Monty, something else that's on your table here that's pretty interesting, you've got now a pistol version of this thing. What is going on here? Okay, so you'll see on the side it says TCP. That stands for Tactical Compact Pistol. The nice thing about this pistol is we've reduced the size and we've also added the capability of being able to fire our VXR projectiles. It. it actually has the same distance as our VKS launcher, out to 50 meters for impacting a person with a handheld device. Wonderful. Um, and the magazine capacity is? The magazine capacity for the TCP is six. It carries its own power unit, either nitrogen or CO2. So in a cold weather environment, you can put in nitrogen and have it uh, still be effective. Mm -hmm. And that's carried inside of this uh, compartment right here on the side. And then you just load six projectiles on the side of that. 
the TCP will not only, it'll fire the VXR and our regular round pepper ball projectiles. Got it. So um, I, I'm, I'm imagining this is not available to civilians. This is, this is law enforcement sales only? So the models you've seen here are law enforcement sales only. However, here we're also unveiling our life light that's going to be for sale to the civilian community. The life light is a combination of a flashlight and a pepper ball launcher. So it functions just like a regular flashlight, but in a uh, emergency situation, I slide this to the forward position, it'll activate a laser, and when I depress this red trigger, it will fire up to five pepper ball projectiles, all in okay. one handheld unit. Wonderful. I could do that all day. <laughs>